The next topic is uh, consecutive alerts. And this is an alerting mechanism that is uh, uh, relatively simple, actually very simple, but it's very smart. You just have to know when to utilize it and when not to. So consecutive alerts, they inform on recurring problems in the system that may be based on continuous exceeding of alert levels. Uh, imagine a SQL server that has an, uh, a several instances running on same server, and you want to have that particular instance uh, not to exceed 20% uh, workload on a two-minute monitoring interval. But then on other hand, there is another SQL Server instance that exceeds <clears throat> this 20% uh, level quite often, but it's still just okay. You just don't want to uh, ha have a situation where uh, this SQL Server instance is continuously exceeding this 20% level. That would uh, be a problem cause problem for other instances and cause performance problems in, in the inside the instance itself. So for this particular purpose, we can set this instance to have so-called consecutive alerts that would be also uh, said as recurring alert. That means that alert is not thrown from the first two minute interval that is exceeding the threshold level, but you can define that, for example, it has to have five consecutive intervals on alert level that is exceeding the threshold point. For example, this 20% CPU utilization before you will throw an alert, a consecutive alert. So this is very good uh, in a very volatile systems because they are peaking quite often. But if, if also the peaks are getting down soon, it's not maybe a, actually a problem there. But if it's a constant high uh, level of, of resource utilization for that particular performance counter, then we will raise an alert. So what are the pros for such a consecutive alert? Well, it picks up a constant problem if there is a resource utilization on certain performance counter and it's all the way all the way uh, always on a high level uh, for for too long period of, period of time so that's the essence in uh, uh, what is good at it but then cons is that it may be challenging to prioritize compared to other alerts how to define, is this more important alert than an individual alert on, on ordinary alert on, on some other server and so on. So this is the other side of the coin here.